thing to that. But this is Centennial, developed over time by University of Hawaii tropical ag researchers. Many of the different species of anthuriums you see in Hawaii have a UH patent on them. More than 40, in fact, crossbred to produce a variety of shapes, colors, and lengths. Many people have seen the flowers at farms on the Big Island, but long before they are grown out there, the ideas were created here in the tissue lab at the UH. It is here that new varieties of anthuriums are propagated. We propagate them in a sterile environment with some sugar and uh, salts, just like vitamin solution, get them growing. This anthurium plant is being separated and sorted by size to avoid overcrowding. Each is given its own living space, the smaller ones becoming test tube babies. All the young plants are placed on moving platforms. Aeration promotes oxygen. These are, after all, air plants, and they would drown without it. This room represents the foundation of the Anthurium research program. It is the vault, if you will, containing genetics of rare and highly valuable species collected from the jungles in the 1960s and 70s. These are two of the jungle-collected parents of the actual Anthurium that we've named Centennial. Um, these are being propagated to preserve them here in our uh, tissue culture bank. It ensures they'll never be lost through deforestation. The many Anthuriums developed by UH are shipped to growers on the Big Island who test them before taking them commercial. They're there for about three years, um, taking data, observing them, seeing if they're performing well as a commercial, potential commercial cut flower or potted plant. Including how long they'll last in a vase. Anthuriums are native to South America, but Hawaii is the industry leader in the production of them. Centennial is the latest in the UH line.